hello YouTube welcome to my channel in this video we are going to install and run Windows 10 from a flash drive so I already done it and this is the final result and let's start it so in order to boot from the pen drive we need to access our boot menu from the BIOS so in my gigabyte motherboard we have to press F12 and you will be able to select all the devices you can boot from your computer so I will select the Lexar USB but I already installed Windows so I will select Windows Boot Manager so this is me showing you the the, fi the final result so the tutorial will be how to install Windows 10 into a flash drive and how to get it and how it, it how it is done okay and you can run Windows 10 from a flash drive or from an external drive or an external SSD the best would be the external SSD because it will be the fastest one and it will it will work great if you do it to a USB flash drive be sure to select uh, USB 3.0 uh, if you select if you use one 2.0 it will be so slow that uh, it's not gonna it's not gonna work okay so let's start with the tutorial so in order to create the, the flash drive we will use this tool called win2 USB it's a free application if you want to use some other features you will need to pay but for this we will use it free we will also need the Windows 10 ISO so we will download from the Windows server and the link will be uh, in the video description you can only you can also use this application that allows you to uh, download genuine Windows 7 8 10 uh, and also office from Microsoft so I will leave the links also in the video description but for now we will do it we will start uh, downloading the Windows 10 ISO to our computer so if you don't know how to do it you have to download the Windows 10 tool from the Microsoft link I will leave in the video description and it's really easy ok click accept Okay, so I didn't cut the video for you just to see this is normal there are there will be several parts in the video that I cut others I speed it up the video and for and but not in this part so we need to select create a tool and so it also detected my Windows installation is in English Windows 10 64 bit so if you want to select something else you and mark and select okay so here we select ISO file and click next select the destination desktop and now depending on your internet speed it will start downloading the ISO file to your computer okay so once again it depends on your internet speed the overall process takes a, a, a lot of time so be prepared that this the the whole process to conclude with success uh, Windows 10 portable uh, will take a lot of time okay so the other the other application you can use to download Windows or Office is the this one 
the link will be in the video description so if you prefer to use this one instead of the one provided by Microsoft you can do it so you just need to select the Windows version you need the language and then agree and it will start downloading really nice okay so it's really easy it's up to you which tool you want to download the Windows 10 ISO so it's almost done the process of creating okay it finished so we need to click finish and I'm looking for the ISO that was supposed to be in the desktop I don't see it so I thought that something went wrong no it's there so we don't see it but it's there so if you go to desktop and the file is here so properties 4.56 gigabytes okay so we are now ready to create the, the flash drive so click win to USB select the language you want to install next click yes next create desktop shortcut and install and finish okay so we have now the shortcut now just select the ISO and as I told you if you want to install the Windows 10, Windows 10 Pro you need the paid version of this tool otherwise just select Windows Home so I will select uh, UFI because my computer is UFI but if your computer is older it's not a recent computer you should not change that option but UFI that's the one that I will go for so here I selected the one in the middle and you if your computer is old select legacy so as I told you this will take a lot of time uh, and be ready to wait and wait and wait and wait okay so the video is edited and some parts of the video are speeded up in 20 times okay so the process is completed we have the the pen drive ready so we, we will need now to boot from our pen drive for the first time okay so let's do it and once again you need to tell your computer to boot from the pen drive so in my motherboard I have to press F12 to access the boot manager and here I will see all the available boot options and I will go down until UFI Lexar USB flash drive and I will press enter and now Windows will start installing in our flash drive and this press process will take a lot of time and once again I edit the video in order to to have it shorter for you okay okay so if you are getting some value from this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up I will appreciate okay so we are almost ready uh, the computer will restart once and we need to do it again so select your boot and now you need to select Windows boot manager below the USB flash drive because Windows is already installed and now we need to, to boot from the pen from the flash drive but from Windows so select Windows boot manager below your flash drive and once again Windows will 
continue installation and once again it will take a while to finish select your language your keyboard enter your account your password select a pin and after conclusion you will have a fully functional Windows 10 installation running from a flash drive okay here we have it and as you can see is working really nice so this is the actual uh, updated windows 10 because we just downloaded the the newest iso and it's running perfectly so if we go to properties we have so this is the pen drive the red one is the one we used to install to drive C which is our Windows installation and we can use it as a normal computer and everything is working so you can use this as a rescue to rescue your computer whenever you have a problem and your windows 10 does not boot you can boot from your pen and you can rescue all your files so this is a great tool to have and i hope you enjoy the video so just showing you that everything is working really good and this is how you have and how you do a windows 10 to go or a windows 10 portable so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to smash the like button and I catch you on a new video subscribe thank you if you like this video please subscribe